Welcome, everybody, to another great episode of Real Life Matters. Of course, I'm your host, D-Boss, and I'm just telling everybody to support us, support what we're doing here. Also, support the artists, the organizations, the people. Go and like, comment. If you can attend their events, you can go and you could do that. But anyways, I have a special guest on here for you today, and um, he's, he's, he's talking on, the, um, on behalf of Black Music Week. And it's uh, Dwight Lee. So uh, with no other further ado, he's going to tell us all about it and how it came about. Well, just hold on. Hello, hello. Greetings, everyone. Hello, <laughs> boss in the house. What an honor. <laughs> what an honor. What an honor to be here with you. Right. And you're going into 12 million households. So, <laughs> <laughs> so everybody's going to see up there. So do it. Everybody wants to know. Like, what's your background, your cultural background, where you come from at Real Life Matters? All right. Well, you know, we start off where where on earth I was born. I was born in Canada, Toronto, oh. Turtle Island, as you see my turtle friend behind me here. <laughs> okay. I was uh, built in Buffalo, New York, and I've had a, uh, a pretty prosperous and productive time in both countries representing my people. I'm standing up for those who can't stand, speaking up for those who can't speak up. And um, and just like you, creating platforms so that stories can be told and that careers can be made. So it's an honor to be here with you today, representing Black Music Month. Uh, okay. It is, it, is, it is Caribbean Music Week that we are introducing for the very first time uh, officially this year. Uh, but we are commemorating the month of June, which is celebrated across North America and parts of the world now as Black Music Month. Oh, okay. I, well, you know, a lot of people probably don't know about it and they, maybe people are getting too familiar. So is this something that goes on for the whole month of June or does it run into The whole, the whole month of June. It, the whole month of June, we position Caribbean Music Week to spill into to July. Uh, so we stretched Black Music Month into, into uh, you know, you give us an inch, we're going to take a mile. And so you gave me a <laughs> gave me a month, and I squeezed another weekend. And um, so June thirtieth to uh, July sixth will be Caribbean Music Week. I'm very very excited about that. We're introducing our actually an awards for Caribbean music artists, uh, and it's and, and it's really really special because we call them the Mangoes, right? So oh. I'm really excited. Yeah, not the Junos, but the Mangoes. Okay. And, uh, so it's kind of a cool name, and and in, in honor of obviously you know, the Mango, right? Where you can you know where is 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 you know, you can find it all over the world, but I think the sweetest ones come from Grenada. Um, ah, but so big up to my Grenada. Do you have a connection there? That's why you're. Well, yes, yes. Big up to Grenada, uh, the Greens. Big up to everyone in the islands, of course. But you know, I came out of a Grenadian woman, so okay. you know. So I told you where I, where I was born, and I told you who 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 bore me, and I was a Grenadian woman, so I'm proudly uh, Grenadian. Um, but you know, Pan African. You know, black is black is without borders. And, um, you know, that's one of the things that we try to, you know, teach to our brothers and sisters, whether it's across provinces, whether it's across countries, um, that, you know what, we are all connected, we are all united. You know, uh, when, when we took that dreadful trip across the Atlantic in the transatlantic slave um, route, um, you know, we were, in fact, you know, dropped off in different parts of the world. And that's what determined our background. But, you know, that was just a chance. That was just, you know, not choice, but just chance. And, um, you know, so we need to embrace that we are brothers and sisters across this, you know, globe. And uh, and that's why, you know, Emancipation Month is so big. So that's that's the month that I found it, right? That's the month of August. Um, and two years ago, I was fortunate enough, uh, all praises to God, uh, for helping us usher in uh, a new month for, for the actual, not just the Caribbean, um, not just the Canadian, but even the UK community to embrace. Um, and it's called Emancipation Month, and it is... Uh, it starts out on Emancipation Day, August 1st. So, you know, okay. so almost every month we have something to celebrate. But right now it's about music. <laughs> um, and, you know, very excited about being able to share this information to your platform. The website is uh, blackmusicmonth.ca. Uh -huh. And they can go to that website and they can see information about the Music Video Awards. So that's that's yeah. our big that's our big event um, for this season that we're introducing for the first time is Music Video Awards. And. Um, you know, I think the, the those behind the cameras that help, 
you know, take the artist's music to another level by adding a visual component to it. They deserve to be celebrated. You know, Toronto is home of one of the greatest videographers um, ever to ever get behind the camera, you know, Mr. X. And um, you know what? And, and he is, you know, he has um, been very generous with sharing his gifts and his trade. And uh, it has spawned off, you know, many, many um, truly gifted people who are storytellers um, in that capacity. So we're looking forward to celebrating you know, the art of making music videos behind the music. Wow. Well, I fortune it's in my birthday month. So my birthday is June 27th. <laughs> oh, good up. Well, we have to be your day. You have to tell us what you want to make make, make that day. And we're going to make a special spot. No, we've been doing that all month long. So uh, June 6th yes. is actually the day of the drum. And we, we dedicate that day to a drum master named Matadi. Uh, Matadi okay. Thomas out of, who, out of Toronto, who... Um, is uh, one of the most revered drummers in all of the world. Uh, he introduced the Matadi Drumming Drum Festival, uh, International Drumming Festival, and uh, it, it is a, it's a landmark event. And um, so we've dedicated that day to him, and we honor you know upcoming um, drummers, you know. Okay. Um, and and then the next day is the day that you know is Prince, right? So it's, it's the day of the guitar because uh, we we celebrate right. Um, that, you know, we celebrate that day and, you know, the city of Toronto was gracious enough to light up the fountains in front of the city hall purple for us. And, um, you know, so we've been celebrating the guitar great guitarists, you know, who are coming up. So, um, so every day has, you know, a day of great significance. Um, and, um, you know, we, we just actually celebrated on the 20th of this month. Um, we celebrated the passing, we celebrated the life um, and, you know, obviously commemorated the passing of a hip hop artist named Prodigy from, a hip hop group called uh, Mob Deep, and he passed away from sickle cell, and so we partnered up with uh, sickle World Sickle Cell Week, and uh, we dedicated that day to him. And uh, we've been asking all the hip hop artists to donate money to um, local charities that help with um, those who are searching for research to, for a cure and those who are currently battling uh, and warring with um, sickle cell. So. You know, if you go to, um, you know, blackmusicmonth.ca, um, you'll be able to find all those details. You were saying, so are there any shout outs, shout outs that you want to give anybody? Well, sure, of course. Uh, thank you for the opportunity. Well, um, you know, first and foremost, we want to thank, you know, um, the Torontonians of, um, you know, of yesterday, uh, who, you know, many are still with us and some have um, departed, but they were the ones you know, decades ago, who introduced Black Music Month to Canada, to Toronto, at least. Okay. And, um, and uh, you know, there's a, there's a brother named Norman uh, who was instrumental in, um, in leading that charge. And, uh, and it, was, it went dormant for many, many years. And okay. um, I, I got introduced to Black Music Month while I was working at the radio station in Buffalo, New York. And okay. they, have, uh, they had a Black Music Month conference and awards. And uh, that's when I got familiar with it. And I realized that, you know what, it is a very important uh, platform to, um, to, to celebrate our music, um, to uh, introduce new music, and to um, truly, uh, in my opinion, I'm a historian, and to, you know, preserve the, the, the rich history of Canadians, uh, make, Black Canadians making music. Um, so we wouldn't be here without them. And, um, you know, of course, I like to thank those who have worked diligently with me over the years, you know, there's a sister named Shekinah, um, who is, um, you know, she is our archivist, right? So she takes all the photos of all the artists and she has the deepest database of photos. And, you know, we're working on preserving the who's who. Um, and so we can tell their story. So we, you know, we're building up our website to contain biographies of all these artists we're working with, you know, the Ontario um, artifacts um, facility so that we can actually find a place to preserve this m music. And, um, and, and, you know, and, and of course, you know, want to thank all those who, um, who have, who've stepped up, you know, who have every day, you know, continue to chase their dream. I want to shout out my daughter, Shiana Captivated C. Um, you know, she's just turned 18, just graduated from high school today and, uh, and show me every single day, you know, the, the struggle and the grind and the love that artists have for, you know, introducing their craft to the world and, and, and sharing an important message to the world. So, um, and who would I be without God? So you asked me for a shout out. If I don't shout out my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, then something's wrong with me. So, um, you know, but shout out to you for reaching out to me. 
Um, I do appreciate this platform. You know, uh, Black Music Month to me um, is a little different from, I think, the way other people um, celebrate it. You know, I'm, like I said, a historian. So we have certain distinctions that we designate during this month. Um, one distinction is called um, wh where we recognize places of Black music significance, right? And we want those to be um, celebrated. We want those to become tourist attractions. We want those to be in the history books. And, you know, last year um, we chose Reggae Lane um, in okay. Little Jamaica. Um, I, ch I chose a barbershop called Castries, right on Pape Street. Okay. You know, it's a place where so much music was shared. So many albums were released inside of a barbershop, right? So, you know, black music is made and shared and celebrated in, in, in mm -hmm. you know, in all kinds of these places in our community. And it's important for us to add special distinction to them all. Um, so I'm very, very, you know, proud of doing that. Um, just, and, and the work that we're, there's a lot of legends who, you know, who streaming has gone over their head, you know, social media has gone over their head, you know, copyright and those things even gone over their head. So our mission is to make sure that the elders who have contributed so much that they have, you know, the digital support behind them so that they can a okay. protect their music and preserve their music. And so, you know, it's all about preserving history. So, you know, it's black music is, you know, there's a history behind it. And if we don't take time to make sure we put their names in the record books, in the history books, then they'll be forgotten. And that's our, and, and you know, there's a lot of artists who don't even have music videos, right? So, right. We just wanna, you know, so we just wanna just make sure that the artists uh, who have paved the way for us, that they have, um, you know, they have an entity like Black Music Month that values their contribution, that values their music and their message. And we want to we want to preserve it for generations to come. All right. Okay. So can you say your website again that um so people can um, sure go sure show? absolutely I'd be happy to. So it's blackmusicmonth.ca mm -hmm. and there you can find out information on how you can submit your music video um for contention for conversation and and to compete. Uh, for this year's um, Black Music Month Music Video Awards. And uh, we have a very special award, um, and it's actually for the a 48 hour music video. So we're actually, for those who, want, those who don't okay. have music videos ready right now, but they have really hot songs, we want them to go out, you know, within 48 hours, once they submit their application, we send them a list of things that have to be in the video. Just to make oh, sure. Okay. Yeah, just to make sure that it was done you know, within a, a certain time period. And um, and then, you know, so we're really excited about what's going to come out of that. You know, when filmmakers and storytellers meet up with, you know, music artists, great things happen. So we're really excited about that. Well, we're excited to hear about that from uh, Dwight Lee. And, you know, he's part of the organization. So, you know, I, I'm, I'm encouraging people out there to support, go, you know, go to the website, go, you know, participate. You know, now yeah. we're allowed to and, have an opinion. Yeah. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Go to the and you know go on social media. So you know on so on Instagram we are Black Music Month on Instagram. So you know Black okay. Music Month has been around for decades and decades, and here we are. We are the caretakers of Black Music Month on Instagram. So we have a lot of um, great content on there. We went to the Canadian Music Week, got a lot of great interviews that'll be on there. Um, but we're also offering artists an opportunity to do interviews like this on our live streams. So if any artists want to introduce their projects, you know, Black Music Month on Instagram um, is, and actually maybe you can host on your birthday. Maybe you can host <laughs> some interviews. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, then we could do, you could do some of the artists there because I do a lot of emerging artists, new yeah. artists, you know, Good. even seasoned ones. So, you know, and they're there coming from all over the world. So, so, so it'll be a, it'll be a D-Boss takeover, D-Boss taking over Black Music Month on Instagram and we'll line up some <laughs> artists. And you know what? That'll be the channel all day for people to tune into. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. Thank so you so much. All right. The thank you. Uh, don't and just don't hang up yet. Okay, okay. everybody. Um, I do want to thank Dwight Lee for coming in today and telling everybody out there. And I do want to thank the viewers for tuning in Real Life Matters tonight here with Dwight Lee, Black Music Month, and they extended it into July 2023. For Caribbean right? Music Week. Yeah, no doubt. Or Caribbean or Caribbean Music Week. So um, I, I want to say thank you and bye for now. Bye-bye.